Hi, Indy. It's a long show. I'm up to taking you on a brief walk uh, around the place that I haven't shown you. But first of all, I wanted to show you this place because you've seen it briefly when I was passing by. And yeah, this is the water well, very um, popular, despite that it's not the most convenient one. And these mighty birch trees, they are dropping their seeds. Have you seen anything like this? And there are many. Just look here. Little yellow seeds and they are falling down like snow. And there are many. Okay. I'm I'm heading over there and surprisingly um, very surprisingly I did the dumbest thing I didn't look up the map but I think that I remember approximately where to go because there are not too many varieties and this is a very nice zbushka um, this will be a very nice hook you could call it a hook. This is the river street, but I'm turning on the left because this route includes some of... And yeah, I'll be heading out of there <laughs> at the end of my route. So this is a real hook. And this route includes some uh, authentic objects, like for example this one. Uh, this bush itself uh, and the barn uh, this one they are made of trunks so quite authentic style and I remember that I was taking pictures uh, sorry that the light is changing all the time but this plot is one of the most interesting ones I don't think that someone lives here and I took some pictures previously but I never filmed it and I remember this toy quite sad looking and what's written here I'm trying to figure it out uh, <laughs> That's pretty weird. Just look at these carvings. At this, I don't know what to call them. We would call them pilastra, I don't know. Um, decorative details. The light is changing all the time, so not too easy to focus the camera. Well, you can see it from another side. So my main goal was to show you this authentic izbushka. And it's quite muddy. Well, there are many old houses in this corner, so that and someone is moving towards my moving towards me so and they stare at me like this <laughs> but just said nothing Jesus it's so muddy and there are many people around so you can see this old Jiguli 6 well there are always many people on this street surprisingly I was trying to figure it out how to call it in English, the name, but still cannot really understand what it means in Russian. So, what's this? You can see how muddy it is. Many puddles and the soil is clay, mostly. 
and this is a very nice house. Blim. I'm just trying not to get stuck in the mud. Some uh, old mailboxes here. Yeah, and I remember that last time when I was being shown the machine of the Last time when I was heading that direction, I met a doggy, and that was a very gentle beast, and he wanted to follow me all around the place, and I couldn't really get rid of him. <laughs> but that was a nice dog. As always, you can see that there are old houses mixed with new houses. Um, for example, an old house like that one, and a new house like this one. Um, there are many fences. But behind each one, there is a nice izbuzka. <laughs> or maybe not every house is izbuzka, but you know, um, still many old-fashioned houses left. And now I'm trying to figure it out if I should turn right, right now. or not because uh, I need to get to the river anyway well I'll try to see what's in there because I last time I turned right right here and I know that uh, the embankment is right around the corner, so I'll just walk a couple steps further down the street and see what's in there. Maybe that's not right, but we'll see. I just... I'll have to reach the embankment anyway. I realized that it might be very dark in my footage because I cannot even focus my camera. Oh, that's not nice. And yeah, this is a surprising hike because I didn't expect it to be like this. This road is going a little bit down and it reminded me of my recent hike in Gorky and you can say that I definitely haven't ever been here on this road Wow, look at this This looks so rural So I'm exploring this place with you. Blin, I'm trying to focus it. And this is a castle. <laughs> Not really such a castle, but you know, <laughs> they were trying to make it look like a castle. one is under construction probably yet so now I definitely have to go on the right because there is no other way either on the left or on the right it's a nice plot and a nice blue house and what is this? is this Kapika? it looks like boy I don't, I don't know what this is 
It looks like an exhibit. Just look at this. I have no idea what it could be in the past, but this is a very nice exhibit. It's it's really like a monument. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that was Jiguli one, but they kind of cut it a little bit, <laughs> or maybe not. It doesn't look like Jiguli, it looks like the Parojas. I mean the greed, the radiator greed. Yeah, maybe it was something like the Parojas. I have no idea what this is, but this is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm afraid that this is the dead end, so... <laughs> um, my hike, uh, it... It turned into an unknown direction, so I'll probably have to interrupt it and to record the second part because <laughs> I have no idea wh where I'm going to. But anyway, I'm I'm gonna finish this fragment because just look how picturesque is this. They definitely live here. Very old house. Look how many cabbage they have. Many of cabbage heads, I mean. This is pretty cool. Looks like some secret place. I've never been here. And I know I'm probably not supposed to be here. This barn. There are some flowers and figures. I can hear that someone is in there, so I should probably go back. Yeah. So the next part will be about the next part. <laughs> yeah, this is. Um, this is what I suspected because um, I thought that there might be another turn, but there isn't. But this is pretty cool, isn't it? Don't you think? To to look at the inner life of these plots, like from the inside. And even if I turn on the right, I think there will be another dead end, because I cannot really see any roads there on the right. So this is a very secluded place. And I suspect there might be a um, little path. Today is Sunday and there are many people around, so... They probably can't see me. Um, there are definitely some people over there, and I don't think that there is any real path there, so... Um, I can just see what's in there, and I really was trying to walk around and to, um, to come out of this hook at the embankment, but as you noticed, I deliberately turned um, uh, into another direction, so we, so I'm kind of moving back, if it makes sense. I think that the fact that there is a dead end and there are dead ends everywhere is linked to Trafima stream because it has many arms 
this is quite a cool adventure and the most cool part about it is that you never know um, where you end up and like I said it all is linked to Trafim stream I should walk fast I know <laughs> but I hope that you like all this as Bushki It's a little bit dark. Just look at this greenhouse. It's so bright. There are still many flowers around and I think I spotted another one. <laughs> this is another zeal. Look at this. I haven't shown you this one yet. I remember that I spotted one during my um, biggest and longest hike that I haven't shown you yet but you know I haven't seen this one because I have never been to these streets myself never ever I didn't even know there's something interesting here and especially I didn't know about that secret place the sun is shining me right in the eye so I'm just trying to figure it out if I should turn left or there's probably no turn left is this the one? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused yeah I think that this is the one and so I'm not heading over there because I would get back if I if I head over there. So I'm just getting back on track. So as you see, it turned out that I made two hooks instead of one. And I hope that's okay. I really made two hooks and one hook included um included a grass path <laughs> um, instead of normal road because I am really surprised I managed to pass there doggy doggy is too busy today I'm not so good with words I'm <laughs> sorry for that It's probably because I have overeaten, <laughs> not because of anything else. That's pretty dumb. Вот это лужа, смотри. Нифига себе! Вот сейчас я тебе покажу. Вот лужа. The puddle, the mega puddle. Okay, now I'm. Uh, going to where I was going to initially <laughs> I hope it's not too late <laughs> to film something well and I realized that my hike is already extremely long so I really hope the rest of my way won't take too much time I just cannot skip it because it's very picturesque because it's the embankment, you know. And this is a ruined um, barn. And a desolate plot and a desolate truck, <laughs> mini van. And this house looks like Mazenka. Like it's not finished yet. Just look at this tree. Very nice. So I reached the river. Uh, 
and in my younger years I used to browse along this embankment a lot and also on the left because this embankment it actually goes to Baribin Highway in if you uh, manage to overpass the ditches then this super beautiful road it leads um, to Baribin Highway which is the big bridge and it's very close to uh, it's very close to our um, village but there is a big ravine I told you okay I'm just gonna show you this place the river is super shallow and polluted and it's blooming that is beautiful. This corner is so beautiful. Do you agree? I'm just trying to go back. <coughs> Maybe there's not too much interesting in here and I can uh, make a separate video of the end because it's already 21 minutes and it's really a lot so okay the next part will be the next part and this one is over I hope you liked my uh, improvised hike because this was a surprise to me either but I really liked it and the weather is so gorgeous and I remember that doggy. this is the one, I mean the white with black head that I was telling you about. Okay.